welcome to this session in this session i am going to talk about uh, electrodes and their types electrode electrode is a point where current enters and leaves the electrolyte when the current leaves the electrode it is known as cathode when the current enters it is known as anode Electrodes are the vital components of electrochemical cells. So, electrochemical cells are, are galvanic cells. So they are composed of two half cells. Okay. So, each half cell containing an electrode. So, electrodes are very important components of uh, electrochemical cells. So, electrodes, their function is transportation of electrons. So, transport of produced electrons will be done by half cells or by the electrodes. So electrode dipped in an electrolyte that forms one half cell. Okay, two such half cells uh, will give us a cell, a complete cell. Okay, so electrodes, electrodes are half cells. They are of four types based on their composition. If we classify the electrodes uh, are uh, half cells based on their composition, we have four types. They are metal metal ion electrode metal insolubles metal salt anion electrode gas gas ion electrode redox electrode these are the four types now we will discuss in detail about each type of the electrode or half cell first one we start with the metal metal ion electrode so this is a basic uh, type of electrode or half cell so in this uh, metal metal ion electrode we have an electrode uh, metal electrode or metal rod dipped in solution of its own salt so metal rod that is dipped in its own salt solution uh, th this is the composition of uh, metal metal ion electrode and we commonly use zinc electrode copper electrode they all belong to this type so representation representation of uh, uh, metal metal ion electrode a common representation is m solid vertical line m n plus uh, of c concentration c moles so here uh, m uh, indicates the metal rod metal rod which is in solid state and it is dipped in electrolyte containing its own ions that is uh, m n plus ions and their concentration uh, considered as c moles c moles so this is the representation this is the anodic representation so metal metal ion electrode when we are using as anode it is represented like this if it is uh, used as a cathode the representation is reversed reverse okay now half cell reaction electrode reaction when it is used as the anode uh, the general reaction is uh, m solid gives rise to m n plus aqueous plus n electrons so it is acting now in this case the metal electrode metal metal ion electrode is acting as the anode so it undergoes oxidation so the reaction is oxidation reaction m solid gives rise to m n plus uh, aqueous plus n electrons so this is about metal metal ion electrode uh, common examples are zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution uh, that is represented by zn a vertical line uh, zn so4 another example copper cu plus 2 bar cu this is a cathodic representation of copper electrode ag plus uh, vertical line ag silver cathodic representation sn plus 2 bar sn this is uh, uh, also the cathodic representation of uh, metal metal ion electrode okay so this is about metal metal ion electrode then we'll move on to the second one that is a uh, metal insoluble salt insoluble metal salt anion electrode so uh, name indicates here the composition is somewhat different here see the electrodes a metal insoluble metal salt anion electrodes they contain a metal they consist of a metal in contact with sparingly soluble salt of the same metal sparingly soluble salt or insoluble metal salt so metal in contact with the insoluble metal salt that is dipped in uh, electrolytic solution containing anion of the salt okay see here uh, we have three uh, components here species here metal insoluble metal salt anion 
anion in the electrolytic solution is same the anion component of the metal salt metal we are using metal must be in contact with the insoluble metal salt same metal salt okay so this is how these three are related metal insoluble metal salt it's uh, anion okay so this is the composition of a metal insoluble metal salt and an electrode and uh, example we can see here silver silver chloride electrode this is cathodic representation cl minus cl minus is the anion in the electrolytic solution having concentration c moles then vertical line agcl agcl is the insoluble metal salt or a sparingly soluble salt of silver so silver metal contact with the silver chloride which is the insoluble metal salt it is dipped in a solution containing same anion that is cl minus so this is an example for the metal insoluble metal salt anion electrode okay and this is done like this uh, silver uh, silver rod silver rod is coated with the paste of uh, saturated silver chloride okay silver coated with the silver chloride saturated at the bottom it is then dipped into solution uh, electrolytic solution containing cl minus so cl minus means we can take electrolyte as a kcl nacl hcl etc okay so the electrolyte must contain the same anion i mean anion of the metal salt okay and uh, an another important point to be noted here is the cation part in the electrolyte must have srp value standard reduction potential value less than the srp value of the cation of the metal salt cation of the metal salt so in the uh, example here which we have taken uh, cation we have two, two two cations here one is uh, k plus if you are using kcl k plus and ag plus here k plus k plus srp must be less than ag plus srp okay so we have to choose the electrolyte whose cationic part srp must be less than the srp of the metal salt cation of the metal salt okay so this is about the uh, composition of uh, metal insoluble metal salt and uh, an, an electrode examples are calomel electrode uh, silver uh, hg2 cl hg vertical line hg2 cl2 vertical line cl minus okay and uh, silver chloride electrode silver silver chloride electrode we have discussed just now. so these two are the examples for uh, metal insoluble metal salt and an electrodes then we move on to the third one that is uh, gas gas ion electrodes this is simple one uh, gas is bubbled into electrolytic solution containing gas ions okay so gas is bubbled into a solution of the gas ion with a platinum rod uh, coated with the platinum black so gas will take the support of a platinum rod platinum rod is uh, coated with the platinum black okay uh, to make that one inert then uh, through that uh, platinum rod uh, gas is uh, bubbled into the solution containing gas ion examples are hydrogen electrode chlorine electrode oxygen electrode these are the examples of gas gas ion electrodes and this is the representation hydrogen electrode representation okay so this is anodic representation platinum we are taking the support of platinum so platinum vertical line hydrogen hydrogen at p atmospheres pressure pressure of uh, hydrogen p atmospheres then uh, vertical line h plus this is the electrolytic solution uh, should contain gas ion as the gas is hydrogen here the gas ion means h plus so, of concentration c moles this is anodic representation and uh, cell reaction is oxidation reaction as it is uh, uh, anodic representation this is uh, uh, oxidation reaction hydrogen gives rise to hydrogen gas gives us to 2h plus aqueous plus 2 electrons so this is about gas gas ion electrodes then we move on to the fourth one redox electrodes uh, this is also a different electrode uh, based on the composition so redox electrode we have a platinum rod dipped in a solution containing two different oxidation states of the same metal example we can take a platinum 
uh, this is the general uh, representation of a redox electrode of platinum. Uh, we must use platinum here. And uh, platinum is different electrolytic solution containing two different oxidation states. See here, platinum vertical line M, N1 plus C1 uh, concentration and M, N2 plus C2 concentration. So here, uh, M, N1 plus is one oxidation state of the metal. M, N2 plus is another oxidation state of the metal having different uh, concentrations. So these two are uh, present in the electrolytic solution. And into that one, the platinum rod is dipped. So this is uh, uh, the general uh, composition of the uh, redox electrode. Example, we can take a twin hydron electrode where platinum is dipped in a solution containing a, a quinone and hydroquinone. Quinone and hydroquinone, these two are the different oxidation states of the same metal. And uh, into that one, platinum is dipped. So this is an example. And similarly, we have uh, uh, two different oxidation states of chromium also. Uh, uh, CR2 uh, plus CR3 plus, two different oxygen states uh, having concentrations, different concentrations, C1 and C2 concentrations. Uh. So the, these two are present in the same electrolytic solution. And into that one, if we dip the platinum electrode, then this uh, forms an example for uh, redox electrode. So this is about uh, uh, types of electrodes or types of uh, half cells uh, based on the Composition based on the composition. Next, uh, uh, based on the usage, based on the usage, electrodes are uh, classified into two types. They are indicator electrodes and reference electrodes. So first, we will discuss uh, the indicator electrodes. So indicator electrode is the electrode whose potential depends upon the concentration of a particular ion in the solution in which it is dipped. Okay. Indicator electrode, it's a uh, potential, electrode potential that depends on the concentration of an ion. Okay. So if we dip indicator electrode into a solution and its electrode potential, the indicator electrode electrode potential that depends on the concentration of the ion present in the solution. Present in the solution. Such type of electrodes are called indicator electrodes. Okay. And these are uh, mainly used to determine the concentration of ions in sample solutions okay and example uh, we can take uh, a silver electrode okay a silver electrode dipped in solution containing uh, a silver ions okay next uh, we move on to the second one uh, second type of reference electrodes reference electrodes are the electrodes whose potential is arbitrarily fixed or is exactly known uh, they are called as reference electrodes okay Indicator electrodes, their electrode potential depends on the uh, electrode potential of a particular ion. Okay, but reference electrodes, electrode potential is known to us. Okay, it is fixed at a particular value, or we know that value exactly. Examples are standard hydrogen electrode and calomel electrode. Standard hydrogen electrode is a primary electrode. Its uh, electrode potential is taken as zero. Standard hydrogen electrode electrode potential is uh, taken as zero. That is fixed to zero. Or if we are using a calomel electrode, its value will be determined by connecting with a primary electrode. So anyhow, while we are using reference electrode, its electrode potential must be known to us. It may be either fixed or we must find out that value before we use that one. Reference, reference so these are the two types of electrodes or two types of half cells based on the usage, indicator electrodes and reference electrodes. So this is about uh, electrodes and their types. Thank you.